All right, welcome everybody back to another Dawn of the Titans. And this is the new Divine Titans. Sorcery and a, um, Elemental. Sorcery and Elemental. So. Basic, strictly Sorcery 101. Put on the ring. Uh, nothing's going to happen. Yeah? Sorcery! <laughs> Sorcerers can manipulate matter because they're born with the capability to use the entire power of their brains. So wait, is, is sorcery science or magic? Yes and yes. For now, all you need is a basic combat spell, making fire. What causes molecules to heat up? They vibrate? Everything we see is in a constant state of vibration, thus the illusion of solidity. But how do we take that which appears solid and have it burst into flames? All right, so here we have the new Divine Titans. And moving on, they have the ability to chance their troops in haste and and trail them. Rage she channels the elemental power of fire, engulfing the battlefield in flames. A venom master, uh, well, Grunth, Grunthorn is the venom master with the ability to counter enemy spells. Heal allies and slow his enemies with deadly toxins. He harnesses the power of poison to affect all who, who dare challenge him. So that's pretty cool right there. Far away in a remote land, out in the farthest reach of the Shattered Kingdom, a society of, of mages live in prosper, a peaceful and pacific nation. Their people are born into life of all a kind of money obsessed with furthering their knowledge of the arcane arts for the generations they have ignored the el the endless wars that consume the other nations of the shadow kings but great knowledge eventually gives way to power and greed two projects and students bound by their nation's rule and forbidden from using their spindle elemental sorcery in combat grew tired of the life they had been forced to lead Harnessing the power of the great nexus stone that resides in the archmage chamber. They open a divine portal, revealing to them a world of titans, gods, bloodshed, and suffering that had been kept secret for them their entire lives. Eager to break free from their society chains, they step forward into the portal. The power of the sorcery arrives at Dawn of Titans this Friday. 9th October with new Divine Titans coming to Divine Shrine. Our SPP will gain test access to those Titans tomorrow. Tuesday, October 6th. The and Growth is a modified Rangers class Titans with different battle animations and base stats to normal Ranger units. To allow the Institute Library of Class Ranger class relics to work, they will appear and function in game as Ranger Titans. It is their stats and skills and battle behaviors that differentiate them. Each new Titan will be available from their own altar to cost 50,000 Divine Gems. Necrous Realm and Life Spark will continue to be available in separate altars for the new cost of 12,000 Divine Gems. The ancient Titan altars have been updating as the follows. Next round will be 50%, Life Spark 15%, Saguna and Zolsar and Krothus will be 10%. You have Uranus will be 9.90%, Owen will be 2.50%, Huntress, Arrows, Cronus, and Zeus, Sebek, Bast, Osiris, Asset, Wong Kong, Pixie, Lubu, Juicy, and Fire Strike will be 2.15%. And the Divine Altar. Here are some of the Divine Altars. The Ancient Titans will be still at 9,000. And then the other two ones that were 15 will go down to 12. These are the new Divine Titans. This is what, look, what they will look like um, coming up. So... Here are some of the skills. The Nepal skills will be 180% Titan Troop Fire Damage, plus 
five offensive spells fire lightning freeze storm lightning storm and poison cloud at the start of battle and every 15 seconds rage tanks and haste five allied grenadiers increasing their speed by 50 percent max 10. second skill is plus 44 percent grenadier critical plus 180 percent grenadier fire damage two times on defense Plus 88% Grenadier Armor Piercing, two times on offense. Plus, as the third skill is plus 44% Tank Critical, plus 300 all spell damage. So basically what you're doing right here. Okay. You're taking that 300% all spells, and you're stacking it with... The spells that you first start out with plus any other spells you can add on there as well on al on allied spell cast invoke plus 20% grenade fire damage and armor piercing max 10 so that's be pretty good on allied spell cast invoke and then the four skills can be plus 40% tight and troop range resist Plus 180% tank fire damage, two times on offense. Plus 88% tank armor piercing, two times on offense. You have the last skill is plus 40% true melee resist, plus 30% tank and troop all element resist. So that actually these will stack up on top of each other for the melee. So you have actually melee twice right there because it's all true element resist on. The, on enemy summon, Nepalus will cast Rage and Haste on eight allied grenadiers and summon on Omega grenadiers max 10. Ooh, nice. So you can bring some allies with you. The allies will get a boost. So that's pretty good. The Prestige skill is plus a 100% base grenadier damage. Okay, so once you get a Prestige. You're going to have this right here. Okay, the Grenadiers. Plus the Grenadier will get fire damage right there. Um, plus you get the Grenadiers doing fire damage over here. Ally spell cast 20 grenade fire damage. Plus you got this here. Um... So you get all those, and then the last one I think has, nope. So yeah, so you got a lot of damage for the Grenadiers as stacking on top of each other right there. At the start of battle, calls two Fire Elementals. So the Elementals are coming to play, you know. Elemental movie clips. For you guys, Okay, well, I can't find it. Well, there's one movie that's like, we elementals, we glide. We don't. <laughs> it was on Riddick. Okay, so you also have on enemy troop death invokes tank fire damage and armor by 3%. And there you have another one right there. Tank and fire damage on enemy troop. Okay, and then you also have a fire elemental 
is a level 60 guardian with plus 50 percent all element resist any skills or relics that boost fire attack stats will also boost fire elemental so it's going to be a level 60 guardian fire elemental and there's going to be two of them at the call of battle so just two of them will appear okay so you're going to have these elementals that will look like titans will pop up okay the grunthus will probably be the one i'm going for myself because you have seven every seven seconds call in two poison elementals which will be more than the other one so you got first skills 180 percent titan troop poison damage plus poison cloud spells on enemy cast counter cast one of the same spells so when the enemy so like you're attacking and the enemy shoots a fireball this time will also shoot a fireball at the enemy as well so it's like one spell for one plus 30 percent path through all element resist plus 300 percent path of damage two times on defense plus 150 percent path or armor two times on the defense so this, little, so this would be good for defense. Out of the two, this will be the better one for the defense. But also it's going to be good for attack too. Plus 200% Titan Armor Piercing. Plus 300% all spell damage. So here we have the Poison Cloud and this right here. So far, those are the spells that are stacking on top of each other. And then you have... Two hundred percent on allied de troop death heals troops by twenty percent. On allied troop death heals troops by twenty percent and invoke tight and troop poison damage armor and armor piercing plus three percent. Okay, so this is like the segment where you uh, the segment basically had heals troops. Uh, so you're gonna also be able to heal troops with this tight as well. When you kill, you gotta kill uh, some troops first to do it. Uh, next skill is plus 40% Panther range resist, plus 150% Panther armor piercing, two times on defense. And then you have plus 30% Panther melee resist, two times on defense. So there's a lot of, lot of defense. I mean, there's a lot of defense here. You have plus 44% Panther critical. Um, do we have another critical here? Um, you have 180% Titan poison damage. Sweet. So you have this right here. Stack will stack on top of each other. You have 180% Titan true poison damage, and then another 180% Titan poison damage. So the 180% is Titan and true, but these two will boost the Titan as well. So that's going to be 300 and I think it's like 360 uh, Titan Poison damage. On defense, Grunthorn will cast all equipped spells 40% qu quicker. So the spells will go quicker than anybody else. And then the Prestige skill will be at level 10 will be plus 50% base Panther and health damage. Woo! Sweet. At the start of battle and every seven seconds, call in two poison elementals. So every seven seconds, max eight. So a total of eight elementals. Okay, look into the elementals. A poison elemental is a small and fast moving berserker with extremely low health and damage. So hopefully they have enough to actually do some damage. Uh, to actually be able to turn the tide when you get all of them. On Poison, Elemental Death, cast Poison Sludge. So once those Elementals die, you'll get Poison Sludge, which will cause the damage. This causes damage while also slowing enemy troops and fast tanks by 60%. That's going to be really good. So first you can have... So this is funny. You're going to have the Poison Elementals come into play up to eight of them up to eight of them 
okay? Then when they die, you're going to get this poison cloud thing that's going to do damage and slow down uh, your enemies, including titans. It's going to troops and titans. On Grother's, door, on Grother's death, unleash six random offensive spells on enemy army. Unlocks at prestige level seven. Whoa, that's that's really tight right there. Uh, so once the Titan dies, the Titan's gonna give off spells. Um, six random. So the game the game will pick for you basically those spells. Um, uh, you could be poison, could be anything. So I'm praising them for this time because you have you have the uh, the spell cast counter, the spell cast counter. You got the enemy sludge. You're gonna have, although unlike the other one, you're not gonna have a level sixty elemental, uh, but you will get eight of them. And when they die, they give off the sludge thing. Like the other one doesn't do that. So I, for one, am gonna go for the poison one. So growth this is the poison one over here. That's the one I'm going to go for. The Venom Master. Oh, yeah. It's going to be hella wicked. Um, yeah, so you, so whoever doesn't have Cronus, Cronus will probably be really in Uranus. Will also be out. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be really cool. Most of these myself, I have... Everyone but Cronus, um, Arenas, and Life Spark. So I'll try to be going for those. Yeah. So I mean, this fire one's going to be really good for attacking. I mean, you got tons of tons of great things. You can have a level sixty guardian. You know. Yeah. So I mean, uh. Uh, hopefully you guys got all of that there. You got a spell counter cast. You're going to have poison spells with this time. Okay. You're going to have a lot of defense here. You're going to have the elementals. The elementals, which are going to look like titans. And when they die, they're going to give off the sludge thing. That's going to slow down and do damage. There's just so much so much going to go on that's going on here. So... That's pretty much everything that uh, we know so far about these new Divine Titans. Um, so yeah, so if you guys weren't listening too carefully, tomorrow all the test accounts will be available to show off. Uh, tomorrow, the 6th of October, they will be able to show off. And then on the 9th, it will be released to the game on the 9th of October this month. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends. All right, bye-bye.